Hello, hello, are you ready for another story time? Today we have Ginger Finds a Home. Ginger is a pet cat, and this is the story all about how he found his home. Once, there was a little orange cat who lived in a patch of weeds at the end of a garden. His ears were black with dirt, he was very thin, his fur stuck out, his tail was like a piece of string. He drank water from puddles, he looked in trash cans for things to eat. Every day he searched for food and every night he went back to his patch of weeds to sleep. Then one day, Everything changed. The little cat had found only a bit of bread to eat and he was cold and hungry as he came back to his patch of weeds. He stopped. There on the ground was a plate of delicious cat food. He couldn't believe his eyes. He gobbled it up and went to sleep. He had never slept so well. The next night he found another plate of food waiting for him and something else, a little girl. Hello, she said. She tried to stroke his fur, but he was frightened and ran to hide in the weeds. See you tomorrow, the little girl said. She came to visit him every day. She brought him nice things to eat. She called him Ginger. Soon, Ginger looked forward to seeing the little girl. He came when she called and when she stroked him, he purred. The little girl loved Ginger. Ginger, she said, you can't stay here. Why don't you come home with me? So Ginger followed the little girl home. He had never been in a house before. He looked in all the corners and under all the furniture, but poor Ginger was so nervous that when the little girl tried to shut the door, he ran out into the garden as fast as he could. The little girl looked outside she couldn't see him anywhere. Ginger, she called, but Ginger didn't come. I frightened him away, she said. He doesn't want to live with me. The little girl was very sad. She was so upset, she didn't notice when Ginger came creeping back in. Meow, said Ginger. Ginger, said the little girl. Now, Ginger lives with the little girl in her house. He's a very happy cat, and the only time he ever goes back to the patch of weeds at the end of the garden is to sunbathe. And that's the end. Oh, we love our pets so much. If you have a pet at home, go ahead and give your pet a nice hug. And we'll see you at the next story time.